welcome to Sadie Spincraft. Today we are doing a dyeing video. I will be using my, people call it a crock pot in America, I call it a slow cooker. Um, so yeah, in my slow cooker. I have said crock pot in between. Um, I don't use masks or gloves. That is not to say that you shouldn't. I do advise that you do use gloves and a mask when you using acid dyes or any form of powdered dye. Um, I will also be using jacquard acid dyes and citric acid as I don't like the smell of vinegar but that's my preference a lot of people do prefer white vinegar. Can I download Minecraft? Yeah. Um, so yeah I hope you enjoy and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and if you're new to the vid to the channel please subscribe thank you ever so much and i'll see you soon hi today we are doing some dyeing um i only use a crock pot just because i like using fine fibers and this doesn't um felt them because it doesn't boil i already have hot water in I use citric acid, I won't use all this but I'll use a good amount of it because I like to know that my dyes are going to stay, so bob a load of that in. I have a massive bag of it so I'm not all that bothered. Give that a good stir. As you can see this is my dyeing corner which is still in my front room so that I don't overtake the kitchen. And we're going to do some space dyeing today. So I'm going to put the roving in now. Let it soak. And then we'll come back and I'll show you all the exciting stuff. So this has been in for about 10 minutes now. Should leave it for another... 10 15 minutes, but it will be getting moved, sort of. So, I don't know what we're going with today. I think I want bright. So, I do a good dark. I don't know. I think we'll start with some, some light. We'll go with yellow. So, I'm gonna get bit of this out and I'm just gonna just getting it off my down edges I think this yellow is a bit old. I might need some new one because it's uh, got lumps in it. That might take a bit to disintegrate. But it's alright. That's not coming out, so I'll just shake it about in the water, not actually touching. See if I can't just... They advise you not to touch it too much, but I'm not exactly ruffling it around, so it's not too bad. And because I can't get that last bit off, let's see if we can't. I'm going to make a mess. It's probably going on my walls and all sorts.
but I don't like wasting, so we got it all out. Yay! So that's the yellow one. I'm going to leave that about five minutes. It might even be soaked up before then. There's not, there is some yellowing. Oh, look at that. I had a bit of red on. Shouldn't take too long because there is a lot of roving in here. Well, I'll say a lot. There's 100 grams. I think, well, actually, I think it's about 108 grams. So we'll be back when that's done. I do have it on high, but it never got, it never ends up boiling. So, yep, yeah, we'll be back shortly. So it's been about 10 minutes. Let's have a look. It's nearly gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and I'll use this end actually. Now all I want to do is try and expose a bit of the white and get the yellow as much underneath as I can see. It's not too hot yet so I can give it an end. Right, so that's basically underneath because there's the other end. So what I'm going to do now Dry this off because otherwise I can't put it into my right. I get more dye off my towel than I do all else. So mm, I don't know what to go with. I don't have any red left, I don't think. I do a oh I do. We'll use a tiny bit of red because red is very, 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 very potent potent. So, get some right onto there. And now we'll just press them in. More than likely get more pink out of this than red. Because I am very reserved when it comes to red. Because as many a time I've done it and I've added way too much and it's taken hours to absorb. So we should have, at the end of this, some yellow, some red, some orange, a bit of pink. And then we'll move it around again. See what else we can add. So just so put them there because they're what I've used. Hey, can you make me a brew? We'll do in a minute, love. I'm on the reason why I didn't drink that brew because you went to bed. I know. Yeah. So we'll come back in another 10-15 minutes, see how this is doing, and I'll see you again shortly. Right, it's been 10-15 minutes. I don't think it's going to be gone, but I'm going to move it around anyway. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's not all gone, but as I move it round, I'm sure it'll soak up into the white that is about. So... Use this end again. As you can see, there is still white around 
in places so as this moves around it will soak up what's been left but I'm gonna have more to it so and it's not gonna be a color you're gonna be expecting this one's gonna be slightly darker and slightly what you wouldn't expect with yellows oranges pinks and reds so as you can see now we've moved that around it's the slightest little bit of colour and I think that's just from what's lying around so what I'm going to do just to shock you all is add chestnut brown because my blue is actually a purple now <laughs> and I don't think green would go not sure about grey didn't want to use hot fuchsia or ice blue or kelly green so we're going to use some chestnut brown and I'm going to do this in small parts because I don't want absolutely loads So like before, I'm just making sure that the particles are nicely dissolved. And I do have a bit of chestnut already made up, which is also why I didn't put so much of the powder in, which is here and I'm just going to add some dark patches these I won't do anything with right. that's all the chestnut gone not going to move that now so I shall come back when that's all dis uh, absorbed into the pot. It is getting hot now, so I won't put my hands in like I did before. There is a lot of don'ts in this video. <laughs> like, you should do this with gloves, not without. You should also do this with a face mask, not without, as the dust particles are rather fine and they can get on your lungs. So if you are doing this, please do not do what I do with, <laughs> with not wearing masks and gloves. Because one you end up with fingers that are permanently stained and two... It's, it's not the done thing. <laughs> so yeah, I shall be back shortly and we'll see how this has gone. So I'll put that back on there and we'll come back in about 20 minutes. So we're here for the washing. I forgot to show you the last part, but this is it out of the pot. Browns, yellows, there's even bits of purple and pink, the oranges, so let's give it a wash. I won't be adding any salt because it's such a fine fibre when it comes to washing, I just rinse, I just rinse. Um, 
cheers one too. She's just put me right off. Yeah, I don't add water, uh, soap when rinsing fine fibres because I believe it agitates it too much. So I'm just going to lay these in and just see if any colour comes out. If, it, if no colour comes out, then it's coming out and it's getting dried. And there doesn't seem to be any colour coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it for a few minutes. See if anything seeps out in those few minutes. I don't think it will. And then I'm going to dry it and hang it up. And I will show you the finished pro product on another video as I can't dry it that quick. But I will give you a quick look over what it looks like when it's all done. So this is the colourway so far. You will have to excuse the garden as we are renovating the house. I haven't squeezed it in any form or way because with the fibres being so fine, I didn't want to stick them together. But as that dries, it will fluff up. And I shall show you the end product later on. So thank you very much for watching that. I will do a short video of what it looks like when it's dry and all the others that have died recently. Um, just to show you the variable differences that you can get using a slow cooker <laughs> or a crock pot, depending on what you call it. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Have a lovely day, afternoon, evening or night depending on where you are in the world. Love and hugs and stay safe. Goodbye all.